Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of August the 21st, 2024, a Wednesday. First of all, FOMC at 2 p.m. with everything that goes with it. So make sure you have your rules, and those rules mostly depend on your account size. Now, after more than one week of mostly green candles, of course, it would be normal to have a sideways day or maybe even a pullback, especially since FOMC tomorrow can bring anything. But with all that, I think this is uh, bound to test the previous pivot on the daily. And that goes for all the indexes, including the RTY on which you may be long with this setup here. How you trade is up to you. The methodology does work as long as there's a crowd on the chart. Remember that. Okay, having said that, let's move on to currencies on which there's all kinds of markets with all kinds of long setups trades in progress or trades having completed or waiting for new trades. It's just a whole list of opportunities here for the past week or so. 6E, we started here and probably the daily 125 or what is it? 125, yes, is the next one. And the list just goes on and on, never ends. Australian dollar. Now, if you're up here, upper Keltner, this is ideal. This would be ideal for the next setup. I would prefer seeing a little bit of pullback here and then attack the previous pivot. That would be classic. So keep an eye on this, please. And uh, British pound, well, has completed the journey. Look at this previous pivot tested. This is not the place to go long. There were ample opportunities to participate here. Let's see the next one. You see, this is all the same opportunity basically against the USD here wait for a little pullback ideally on the 6C and also Japanese yen is giving us a pullback on the four hour chart look at this oh has triggered already okay and um, the daily is a little overblown but I think we may have worked off the steam on this again there's a, such an obvious pivot here before us around too many numbers here, but this is what I mean here on the daily, which is, I think, might be worth trying. But if you're trading the four hour chart, there's a long trading progress already. 6N was next. Beautiful. Look at this measured move. This is um, just go back a week, please. Every day in every video, we detailed the steps on the end of, on the 6N. Look at this, the bottom tail, the failure test. But even if you just started to participate at this volatility compression, and remember this smart move here with the tight stop, that's the biggest lesson. So if you haven't watched it yet, go back two, three days, I think. That's when it happened. We talked about this tight stop. And I said that I'm not a big fan of tight stops. They don't work, but there are exceptions, and this might be one of them. And now we see that it was one of them. Okay, let's move on to other asset classes. Gold didn't really sell off after conquering the breakout here. So this is continues to be bullish. And I think, judging from the SI, which actually has hit 30, this is the other market which I hope you participated in. We set it even before anything happened on this market. Started with the failure test, pulled back, and now we're 30. Look at this. Okay, and I'm not really worried about wheat. Wheat is just hesitating. It might trigger, it might not. Who cares? There's so many other things happening that wheat is the least of my concern. And also, tomorrow, FOMC, so tread carefully. Otherwise, we are targeting, remember, the previous pivot on the indexes. And as we said yesterday, what happens there? We're not forever bullish. We are bullish now. But when we conquer the previous highs, that could be a very different situation. And we are ready to change sides if that's what price is telling us. So this is it for today. And we'll be back in the morning. And until then, mindful trading.